Hey guys, what if I told you that Yuya Watanabe's sponsor decided to post his sleeves? So Yuya obviously believes he's innocent, so he posted his sleeves, and of course it was evidence that he didn't cheat. Except it was not. So today we're going to look at the corner. So it's the top right corner on your computer. You see that the Urzer's mines, three of them have that marking, the fourth does not. We'll get into why that is later. Here is the back. You can see that they are indented out, meaning they are pushed out. So when you're shuffling, you can feel that indentation or that fold out. These are brand new sleeves. He de-sleeved after round 12 when he was not going to make the top 8 unless he won every other game, which he did and then got into the top 8. These should be brand new sleeves. Either Ultra Pro is the worst company and we should never buy any product from them or he cheated. Now these are the power plants. Uh, the power plants, you can see that uh, they look good on they look good on the top. There's no marking on the top. If we expected the sleeves to be just fall apart, even though they're brand new, they've only lasted three to four games, we would expect to see some type of marking on the power plants as well. But the power plants are marked on Gideon's leg. So we had the top, which is Gideon's left side now we have Gideon's leg you can clearly see from the reflection that these are now different uh, it is a different type of it's the same type with each other but when you compare it with the other Urza lands they look significantly different these are located at his legs so you have one on the top which is located near his arm it is on the top left from this video. You have another set of Urza lands on the bottom left of the video. Where do you think the other set, where do you think the uh, towers are located? Now here, you have an interesting mentality of a cheater. He actually marks one of the towers, like one of the other Urza lands. Uh, this is to say, oh, well, I was just shuffling and nothing was happening. So it was, this is next level cheating. And this is what you face when you play a professional magic player. It's not just, oh, I'm going to cheat by marking cards. It's I'm going to cheat and then protect myself from accusations of cheating. So here is the most damning evidence. So we have the Gideon's left arm. We have Gideon's right leg. Now we have Gideon's right, sorry, left arm, left leg, right leg. And here we see the nail, we see indentation. This is a completely different, but the only similarities is if it's a matching Urza land, they will have the same markings. So we have three different markings, completely different markings from a brand new set of sleeves. A brand new set of sleeves that Wizard of the Coast gave that the conspiracy it would have to be come from Wizard of the Coast, right? Because they're the one providing the sleeve. And you y'all would have to not recognize this, although this is very obvious, right? You have three different locations, three different types of marking. Um, it's not all bends. You have one nail indentation. I don't even know what would cause that. Um, but they're all located in the same area. And it would be super obvious if you put this in a deck and you shuffled. You would, if you knew to look for it, you absolutely would be able to draw the Urza land that you needed. Now, this is his defense. Wait, think about this for a moment. This is his sponsor, and this is him putting it out there. His defense is, yeah, they were marked, but I didn't do it. I didn't cheat. You know who else made that same defense? Saito. When he did the trick where he shuffles his deck for no reason, maybe you think he cracked a fetch, or there's a lot of cards, especially in modern, which you would search a deck. So he's shuffling his deck for no reason. He presents it to you to cut. You go, you grab his deck, you, you cut it. He calls a judge on you while you're cutting or when you have your deck, his deck in your hand, and then he accuses you of cheating. 
and the judge will say, why do you cut his deck? You're like, oh, I thought he was fetching a land. And then you would look at the game state. Saito is not fetching a land. Clearly, the other person would be disqualified. Saito gets win. Here, you have the same arrogance. Magic pros are arrogant beyond belief. They think that we're idiots. There's no other way to put it. Saito somehow thought that this would, on camera, that somehow people wouldn't notice that he's just shuffling his deck for no reason. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, how could that possibly work? Well, it does. He almost got him to Hall of Fame. For you, yacht, this got him into Hall of Fame. So, he changed his sleeves because he was superstitious, right? He wasn't doing well. He was mulliganing. He wasn't drawing the land he wanted. He was almost going to lose top eight. He had to win a few games in a row. And then suddenly... He sleeved with the sleeves that he was given by Wizards of the Coast. And yet no one else's sleeves had the same defect. Not, none of them had one of these defects. And he sleeved exactly in the correct way without noticing, apparently. Where he put all only the Urza lands. The other sleeves were completely undamaged. I don't know what to say, except the arrogance, the fact that he thinks this is going to disprove his, this is going to prove his innocence. Clearly, when we look at these sleeves, we're so dumb that we realize that he's innocent. Not that we can comprehend that. Wait a second. Left hand, left leg, right leg, and each of these correspond with a type of land that you need to draw. Hmm. You have an indentation, which I think is a, from a fingernail. You have a pushed corner. Then you have a pulled corner. So now that I have explained it to you, you can kind of see what I'm... So a corner can be pushed or it can be pulled. We have a pushed corner for the Urza Mines, which we will see on, when you reverse it, it becomes pulled, right? These are brand new sleeves. These sleeves, unless Ultra Pro sleeves are so trash, they cannot last. Um, his explanation was he searches for these so often that they got damaged. I would grant you that if they were not new sleeves. So you can see these are pushed out. Not that they even have to be. like That doesn't even make sense because you would know from the location itself. And the fact that he did not mark the fourth one, or the fourth one was marked differently uh, indicates that he thought about this he thought about what if i get caught what what's my explanation here let me just go ahead and say that oh they were damaged and clearly he believes as does his sponsor they believe that we're dummies and we can't figure this out ourselves and if we look at pictures like this we'll be like oh of course he wasn't cheating these are like just ultra pro sleeves Brand new ones. It happens all the time. No, we're not idiots, right? I mean, at some point in time, you, you have to assume, just like with Saito's case, why is he behaving this way? Why is he publishing this as his defense? Because he thinks he's going to get away with it. He thinks we're going to look at the pictures and we're going to say, yeah, that's right, Saito. That is right. And look at this. So... These are on Gideon's left leg from my vantage point. So we have different locations. We have different... It, it's just bad. We have different techniques. I, I don't see why you have to do this when you are a Wizard of Coast employee being paid $75,000. People have corrected me and said this is there's 500 people at this event. In my opinion, even worse. Just more people to cheat, right? Unless we assume that all 500 are cheating and in that case it might actually be fair. But here we see, you know, we see one of them, one of the towers is pushed out. And this is his explanation. Well, not all the towers are the same. Only three of them have the finger indentation. The other one has the same. I would say the probability of him thinking about what I just said is very high. It's not enough to cheat. But, man, it's bad. It is... It's bad that Magic players think like this. It's next level cheating because it's like, oh, if I get caught, look at this. 
are you telling me all the towers, which is the most important one most of the time, because if you get duplicates, you want towers, have little, except for one of them, have little dents at the exact same location. So there's three different locations that damage is being done on these brand new sleeves within two rounds. And each of these locations indicates a different or is there tower or mine or power plant? I don't know. He must think we're idiots, right? Like that's the only conclusion I can draw that this is quote his evidence of innocence. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Bye guys.